Hello. Uh, after watching uh, Doug's podcast with Martin, was Martin yeah, Martin Zamani, which was, by the way, one of the most interesting, along with Hard of Fire and things, I watched lately together with uh, Phil Helmut's Heads Up Showdown with the casino owner, which was very fun, up to the point that at least I watched it. I just wanted to make a video about one of the, I guess, most misunderstood parts uh, of the whole backstory of Martin, and that was uh, about the combo ceremony, the frog poison that he mentions that the shaman offers him. I saw many people on Twitter, like Daniel Negrano and even in, in Berkey's podcast, they were really shocked that how uh, would uh, doing thought poison uh, affect your performance in poker, which uh, I would just wanted to share my own experience about it. And actually not to defend obviously the whole story and uh, uh, allegations against Bring Kenny. I just wanted to say that I've had a great experience with the combo ceremony, which was uh, years ago. And I do think uh, obviously, uh, although being uh, incremental, doing uh, going through the ceremony could really help cleanse, uh, recenter, and ultimately affect uh, our any performance, but in this topic, uh, the poker performance. And so, although I don't condone the way that allegedly Breen Kenny uh, sent their, his students' horses uh, to do it, because I do think uh, sharing your own experience, letting them do their own research, and really wanting to do them themselves would be much more effective. And I do actually applaud Martin not uh, doing it and skipping it, especially if you're in a place for the first time, meeting a person you obviously don't trust in a weird, sketchy place. And after you see people uh, doing it and throwing up all over the place, not doing it is the logical way to go. Although uh, five years ago, when I heard some, some of my friends go through it and uh, just have a good after effect especially. I'm just really enjoying the experience. I just did my own research and there was a really nice spot in uh, Rotterdam back when I was living in the Netherlands. That was, again, probably 2016, 17. Uh, I went and uh, went through the combo ceremony, uh, which was pretty good. Uh, they told me it's best if you do it three times. I think it was three times over six weeks or seven week period. First uh, day when we went through it, I think we had to fast at least for half a day uh, because uh, surprise, surprise, uh, pretty much everybody does throw up a lot, which is could sound scary, but it was very helpful. I'll tell you how. So uh, we went to the ceremony and they greeted us, very nice people. Uh, they did seem trustworthy. I talked to them beforehand. So in the ceremony, there was around 10 people and the room was uh, what you would expect from a shamanistic ritual. It was uh, burned, they burned sages, there were some incense burned. There were around 10 people. Everybody had their own uh, pillow, uh, their own mat, and you would just sit there. They would just explain you the ceremony, you would meditate, set your intentions. And after the ceremony starts, they would go one by one and kind of poke holes uh, in the, whatever you want. For me, it was the arms here and here, and one was in the shoulder. Uh, where, what they, after they burn it with a match, like like incense, and they would put the tot poison, the frog poison from Amazons, and they would, uh, the dose is determined by how many dots they do. So basically, you have to start around three or four minimum. I think I did start with four or five. Then later it went to eight, and on the third one, I think it was nine or eight again, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember it, uh, the experience very vividly. So after they do it, within three to five minutes, you start feeling the effect. It's like when you get really sick, you feel your body temperature rising, you feel nauseous, you of course have your own bucket ready to go. And even before I felt the effect, I already heard some people throwing up. But the best part is, as with many rituals, there's also uh, two guys who, one of them is beating the drums, the other one has some kind of other uh, musical instrument where there's a beat going on all the time. So when you meditate and you kind of tune into it together with your breath, it uh, kind of takes you on a journey. Although a little harsh, but it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't take very long. 
Second of all, again, when you understand it, it just made sense to me. So, although there is not much, uh, I know, uh, scientific evidence backing uh, the claims, I did feel uh, a lot of benefits. So, after your body temperature rises, you feel nauseous, and they tell you not to hold anything back, but they give you the bucket, so after like five, 10 minutes, I started throwing up, and it was not like a gentle throw up, it was one of those like, you know, when people get food poisoning, it was like violent, uh, some people more than the others, obviously. So you th start throwing up. And again, whenever you feel like it's hard, you can't kind of, it's hard as in again, like getting really sick. It's not more than that, but it's just weird because 10 minutes ago, everything was all right. So uh, that could uh, a little fuck with you psychologically. So once you just tune into the music, it takes you through the process and they just chant. Uh, there's like really good uh, fragrance in the air of all the sage and whatnot. They kind of, brush you with the sage, uh, like let the, what is it, the steam on your face, and you do feel good. After like 10, 15 minutes of throwing up, feeling really like a nauseous headaches, it starts fading away. And then once you start, like, once you feel like there's nothing else to uh, let it out of your body, you kind of know it's done. It took me like a one full bucket. Some people needed a second bucket. Of course, it depends on your body structure, what you have uh, put in your body up to that point. After it was done, I, I just uh, sat back, started meditating, and it did feel great. I have to tell you, in those like 10, 15 minutes, and uh, let's say uh, up to half an hour after that, you just have this very almost psychedelic, like when you're in that meditative state, you really f feel like, uh, let's see, you kind of see the story of what you put in your body, how you treat your body, be it with uh, food, be it with exercise or lack, uh, of ex exercise stuff like that and uh, again for me personally I just saw although I wasn't even a, a particular unhealthy eater or uh, I wouldn't eat too much except from uh, except occasional let's say late night snacks or like McDonald's whatnot I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't consider myself a unhealthy eater but even then I, uh, I wouldn't drink maybe like a occasional beer each week or something like that even then, I felt just so much toxins uh, coming out of my body. I mean, we all know even uh, healthy things, vegetables and bread, meat has a lot of toxins in it nowadays. So just feeling all of it coming out of my body and feeling the relief of kind of emptying my body, the whole vessel. And also you go in your mind. Uh, I, so my point is how it could benefit you. I could really, some of my friends who joined it, they had like a smoking addiction and whatnot. It really helps you see what you're doing to your body. You know, people who would do, who would have done like psychedelics probably felt similar uh, experiences or again, meditation and yoga, this kind of things make you kind of go through the overview of, uh, yeah, basically again, how you treat your body, what you put in it. First of all, uh, it is kind of similar to also fasting. When you fast, you realize how much you actually, uh, you overeat, how little your body needs, especially like nutrition, not all the extra stuff we put in it. And especially I do think from everything I've read, our stomach is meant to be, let's say, I don't know, up to half empty all the time, you know, in religious scriptures as well, they always say, always uh, stop eating when you feel half full. And probably part of it is because uh, our body gets the full signal our brain gets the signal like 15 20 minutes later but another part of it i think there's a magic in this emptiness you know how they say again uh, i haven't seen it but the way they say this uh, physicians like atom is i don't know 99.9 percent .9 empty space our universe is mostly empty space so i guess there's a magic in this everything happens uh, or birth births through empty space i'm not very good at explaining it but i think you will get the point so just seeing again how much we fill our body and the second part is uh, the half full part is usually full with the things our body kind of has a hard time processing instead of it being really nutritious food uh, and all the good things water uh, and all of it so again going through this process really made me feel like appreciating the things nutritious stuff and kind of uh, holding back from uh, harmful stuff or what at least I consider half harmful. And 
all this went through and it was very relieving and then with the music you come back everybody's kind of has that uh, uh, relief and you feel some people again come back a little later some people did have a hard time they would throw up for longer or they would feel a little sicker because as you know sometimes it's hard to face ourselves and face uh, what we have done to ourselves and our decisions also maybe some people's body just reacts differently I'm not sure about that so after we've uh, come out of it everybody's done they would bring in lunch, very nice, nutritious, like uh, organic butter, organic uh, peanut butter, hummus, stuff like that. Just no meat, just a vegetarian diet kind of thing, with really nice homemade bread. And we had our lunch. All of the three uh, ceremonies were pretty much similar. But again, the second and third time, you kind of know what to expect. So it is a lot easier to go through it. And even the first time, I wouldn't really particularly consider it a very harsh uh, process although if you don't know what it is about the combo what combo is looking uh, looking it up and seeing the pictures might uh, scare you off a little but again I'm not here to advise uh, anybody go through the ceremony or uh, definitely not defending bring Kenny's actions especially again if you're gonna do such a thing and invite people to do this stuff it's really good to show the example again this is all alleged so we don't know for sure but again uh, like just point blank offering somebody to put uh, thought po uh, frog poison, thought poison in their body is not the smartest thing. Even if they decide to do it, their body might uh, not react well, uh, you know, just psychologically, you know. You might feel pain after like a nice workout, you feel good, but if you feel pain after you've fallen down the stairs, it kind of sucks and it's pretty much the same pain, maybe a little different, but you know what I mean, I guess. So yeah, basically that's it, I would say, my conclusion is doing combo, uh, going through this process uh, once or more than once, maybe yearly even, would really help recenter uh, just psychologically, mentally, also physically. Again, it's very similar to fasting. Whenever I have a fasting uh, session or a fasting day, at least like a m couple of weeks after that, I would be really aware and very mindful of what I'm eating, what I'm putting to my body. And I had the same here when I did the combo ceremony. So maybe not letting uh, your experience and your understanding awareness fade away, maybe taking notes and making new decisions, it really does help with it because it completely brings awareness back to your body. And that brief moment of sickness and whatnot, I really don't think it's a big deal. And again, obviously do your own research. I didn't really talk about combo here uh, in length because you can just look it up and see and seeing uh, everybody like I <laughs> actually throughout the video the only pretty much one of the only logical things that I saw it was the combo you know like all the cheating and all the ghosting and whatnot was pretty crazy some of it we have already heard before but still it's uh, kind of shocking to hear it uh, kind of also makes the ego feel good for those of us who have ne never cheated and just done our own work even though sometimes the wins are not up to our standards maybe at least for me couldn't get those uh, six seven figure wins but you know so far so good yeah all the anecdotes aside I just wanted to share my combo experience and tell that I do think again it will help uh, improve performance uh, and yeah just definitely look it up and if you have a trusting group trusting people and who have good quality combo medicine going through it once at least doing it once and then deciding if you want to do the second or third one i do think it would immensely benefit you even me if i now i don't live in the netherlands anymore for the last couple of years so if i do find a nice place which i trust i would even go through it again so basically i think that's all and if anybody is in Europe, in the Netherlands, wants to do it, I think I can still find their contacts if I look up in my Facebook messages and whatnot. I still don't remember the guy's name, but I really like it was a couple that owned the center. They also had different uh, yoga lessons, meditation classes, that kind of things. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. And I really haven't heard many people going through the combo process. That's why I just like, wanted to make this video right away because everybody reacted to it very out of, um, everybody seemed to have heard it for maybe the first time or really had completely wrong idea about it, at least in the poker community. So I just wanted to share my uh, very positive experience about it and hope that all these things with the uh, cheating and uh, I don't know, some people say cult-like behavior, will uh, 
I'm sure it eventually will contribute to the greater good. This kind of stuff always happens, so let's hope for the best. And yeah, much love.